Now in Steve's Kitchen today, we're taking two classics, maple, bacon, and popcorn. Can you go wrong with those two ingredients? We're putting them together, maple, bacon, popcorn. This has been a lot of fun experimenting, making this recipe for you. I hope you'll give it a try. Come on, let's start with the bacon. Now we're using streaky bacon because it makes the best crispy bacon. Now just come down here. I am not putting it on a rack. I want to keep all that maple goodness, but I'm putting it onto a tray. So we're just going to line that tray with some baking foil. And then just take your streaky bacon and we're just going to lay it out on the foil. Now we want our oven on, on a moderate heat. That's 170 Celsius, 325 Fahrenheit. We want real maple syrup. Now come down here. I'm just going to pop some maple syrup in a little a ramekin or a small bowl and then just taking a brush we want to brush over the bacon with the maple syrup and that's why I'm not doing this on a rack so all that good maple goodness stays on our bacon. So we're going to take that now and pop it in the oven and keep an eye on it depending on your oven we want this to go a lovely crispy brown colour and then we're going to turn it over and re-coat it. Now take a look at that bacon it's been in there about 15 minutes now we're going to turn each slice over, just make sure that you absorb a lot of that maple that's on there and turn your bacon over and then take that maple syrup and we're going to brush it over the other side of the bacon. And now this is back in the oven until it's wonderful and crispy. Now look at that bacon, it's been in there about another 10 or 12 minutes. Before I take it off the tray, I'm just going to soak up some of this beautiful maple syrup that's left behind. Then I'm going to take each of these strips and just lay them to cool down on a rack. And the great thing of doing it this way is no washing up. Now once your maple bacon has cooled down, it should be nice and stiff. I'm just going to bring it over onto a board and what you're going to do is cut it up as fine as you can. Now be prepared to get a little bit sticky, that's fine. Now it's all about honesty in Steve's Kitchen, so I've got to tell you, look at that lovely pile of maple bacon. I doubled up, I actually made another batch because this is all about the bacon. Come on, let's get on and make the popcorn. I've got my heavy base saucepan here. And into that, I'm just going to put three quarters of a cup of vegetable oil. I'm actually using canola oil there. Half a cup of popping corn and half a cup of soft brown sugar. Now let's take this over to the stove. So remember, get your stove on the highest heat possible and then just take all the ingredients and just start to mix them through. Now it's the sugar and the oil that's going to produce our wonderful caramel. Now for safety, I should add, you're working with hot sugars here, so be very careful. We need to heat this up until the little corn kernels explode. Basically, the water inside the kernels is trying to escape. Now you can start to see the caramels forming in the oil. And all we're looking for now is one or two of those kernels to start to pop open. Now you see that? That is the first little kernel starting to pop. And there goes the second one. Watch out for the splattering of the fat. I am now going to cover this over. And what we're going to do is start to shake this backwards and forwards. And you'll see inside there, the popcorn is starting to form and the caramel as well. Now you might want to just turn the heat down a little bit. We don't want to burn our sugars. And just keep shaking this until you think all the corns have popped. Now look, it's still popping a little bit. I've brought it over onto the board now. It's almost complete. Can you see all the caramel forming on the lid? Then we're gonna uncover that and inside there, We've got that wonderful caramel popcorn. Just going to pop it in now to my bowl. See, most of the oil has vanished. Now, even though we're putting maple bacon in here, I still like to season it a little bit with some salt. And then you can take the lid on your box and give it a good shake up. Now that is still a little bit hot. I'm just going to let it cool down a little bit. Now also at this point, you can taste the popcorn, make sure it's seasoned well enough. Whoa, that's hot. Mm. I just want a little bit of the heat to come off, but I still want it to be sticky. And then I'm going to take my maple covered bacon and pop it in there. And you can either shake it or just mix it through and coat over the caramel popcorn with the maple bacon. Now I'm in seventh heaven here because look at that maple and bacon all over that lovely caramelized popcorn. Uh, you can't go wrong with this. I'm going to give it a try anyway. Got a nice bit of bacon on there. You are never going to go wrong with these two ingredients, trust me. Uh, give this one a try. I'd love to hear your comments down below. 
Don't forget, there's a full series of popcorn on. We're going to be doing some others. There's a few requests out there. Uh, I'm having a lot of fun with it. Be good, share the love, give this one a thumbs up, and I'll see you in the next video. Take care. Now, what do you think? One of the best popcorn so far. Now, there are so many great creations up there. Don't forget, I've got the whole playlist of popcorn, which is growing each day, and I'll leave a link to some other videos. I'd love to hear your comments down below. Be good. See you next time. Take care.